In just his second season in the league, New Orleans Pelicans wing Trey Murphy may be one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. He's shining as a role player for the Pelicans and has completely jumped into being one of their key players, a good complementary piece next to guys like Zion, CJ, and Brandon Ingram. At 22 years old, Trey Murphy has been the definition of efficiency this season as he is close to having a 50-40-90 season, averaging 13 points on 49% field goal shooting, 40% three-point shooting, and 92% from the free throw line, with a 65% true shooting. A good chunk of his offense revolves around three-point shooting, he attempts around five to six three-pointers a game, and he does most of his shooting damage off the catch within the flow of the offense as he is shooting than 40% on catch and shoot threes. His rookie season, even though a good shooter, he struggled with being an efficient scorer in other areas of his game, as well as trying to gain more minutes on the court. His potential was still glaring, especially from a physical and athletic standpoint, a 6'9 wing with long arms who moves well. He is a key guy where the Pelicans can run plays for him, getting him involved in the offense off of pin downs and staggers, as well as having him come off handoffs, which he ranks in the 98th percentile in this category, scoring 1.4 points per possession. He is always moving and the Pelicans are getting him in situations to move. His jumper is very quick, all in one motion, and he just needs a bit of daylight to let it fly and has a nice high arc on his shot. The three-point shooting opens up the closeout attacks to the rim, and he's capable in throwing down some explosive dunks. He is shooting 87% on dunks this season on 66 attempts. Murphy's ability to attack closeouts has been developing over the course of the season, some good, some bad, and even though he isn't quick off the catch, he shows the ability to pace himself and find holes in the defense to attack. The willingness to put the ball down and show off some handle on the ball has been key here in his development because even if defenses run him off the line, he looks to be a threat to attack on the inside. According to Clean the Glass, Trey Murphy is shooting 77% at the rim, ranking in the 96th percentile among wings. The transition attacks from him has also been key in his offense. He runs the floor with them young legs early in the offense, and he can benefit on spot up threes in transition or shots at the rim. He ranks in the 90th percentile in transition plays, scoring 1.4 points per possession this season. The defense from Murphy is interesting, the physicals help him, and he projects to be a good, versatile defender. I think now it's just him needing to play with more physicality and showing more consistency on that end. As the season progressed, there are signs of growth with defensive positioning and being quick to close out. He is equipped to defend forwards, but being able to play with physicality and awareness is key in his development. Murphy recently dropped 30 points against the Sacramento Kings and I want to look at some plays here that really highlights his strengths as a player. As mentioned before, the defensive awareness is key here for him. On the Sabonis attack, he sees the defense collapse onto Sabonis, Herb Jones helps out and the corner man is open. So his job is to cover for Jones, helping the helper, he reads the pass and he end up gets those long arms into the passing lane and picks it off. Same thing happens here as the Kings collapse the Pelicans defense, Larry Nance slides over to help on the drive, Murphy has to cover for him as the helper. Really wish Davis would have kept the ball moving here, but Murphy gets a nice contest here on the shot. And on offense, this is a type of decisiveness and attack in Murphy is capable of. Off this baseline out of bounds play, screening the screener action, Murphy back screens for Jackson Hayes and then flows out into space in the corner off of the Hernan Gomez screen. Murphy isn't much of a movement shooter, more so stationary, so he plays it smart as he gets the ball. Murphy's defender trails him on the screen, but he sees the opening to attack inside, quick decision and gets the defense to collapse onto him and dumps the pass right off to Hernan Gomez for the cut and dunk. It's amazing how quick his release is, just a quick hop here, quick dip on his shots, nice arc on the shot, so it's hard to sag off of him with all that considered. 
He's also quick to leak out off of missed shots and gets to his spots quickly, which makes him one of the better transition wings in the league. The Kings match up poorly in transition here, and once he gets the ball, there's little to no dip on the shot, which is ridiculous, but still remains within his shooting form and knocks it down over the contest. Here he attacks the closeout from Kevin Herter, a quick shot fake, not the most explosive off the catch, but still showing that ability to put the ball down, attack in a straight line, and finish. And this right here was just fluid ball handling, and you start to wonder with his growing ball handling ability, is there another level he can reach as a ball handler? Off the catch here, he takes Keegan Murray one on one on the drive, goes between the legs, then retreats back into a left to right cross, then into a power right to left cross, attacking the top foot of Murray, drives to the rim, and dunks this home. The fluidity of the ball handling and shot creation here was really impressive. On this possession, the Pelicans look to run zoom action for CJ McCollum, a pass to Larry Nance in a pinch post, Trey Murphy sets a pin down for CJ into a handoff, and Murray looks to defend in a gap, tagging the roll in Nance, but again, Murphy needs just a little bit of daylight for a shot, CJ zips the ball to Murphy, Murray is late to close out, and Murphy knocks down the shot. And on this possession, a play is ran here for Murphy. Murphy here engages in the goal screen for Jose Alvarado, which gets the defense switching. Murphy will then relocate to the opposite side low post. Herb Jones on the opposite side curls off of Nance, and once Jones clears, Murphy will rush to spot up on the wing receiving a screen from Nance. Murphy's defender looks to cheat the screen instead of staying attached, which frees up Murphy for a look for three. Trey Murphy is one of the Pelicans' key role players. The shooting, ability to attack closeouts, as well as the potential as a ball handler and versatile defender pops with him. That's the rundown on Trey Murphy. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more NBA breakdowns like these. And with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next video.